I had depression and I lost my job as a bank manager because of it. But they didn't sack me, they sort of let me go on and then they finished me, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, but basically, is it, is it true, you know when you looked at the brain, that the neurotransmitters, do they shut down during depression? Because when I started to get well again, what I couldn't, um, I couldn't sort of think of words and, and sentences, I would get it all wrong. Like, instead of rock the boat, I'd say rock the apple cart. I don't know. Yeah, I got it. So, so does something happen to the neurotransmitters yeah, and they shut down and you've got to find a new route? No, no, but again, to make you feel better, this happens in everybody who's depressed, everybody or who's stressed. The, you know, the, if this should be on a poster in every doctor's office. Here's what happens when you're stressed, not even depressed. A, your heartbeat goes up. B, all your blood goes to your peripheries because, again, we used to have to take on the enemy. So that means very little up here. You're not thinking clearly. So remember that next time you go in a business meeting you're, and you're feeling that, you're out of your mind. So the other thing that happens is the cortisol that you need sometimes, it's, but if you have depression, it starts to kill off neurons in your hippocampus, which is where your memory is. So the first thing that goes is the memory. I had a really brilliant guy who was a war correspondent in, in, uh, in an institution with me, and he could only write the word and, and for a year, because everything goes. So I don't know if this gives you any comfort. For stress, too, that's why you, you can't remember things, because that's the first to go. The good news is, because this is plastic, when you finally do either have a method of it going down or the depression leaves you and you know it will, that doesn't last forever. It, it goes like this. Your memory will come back. You don't destroy it forever. It, it'll come back. The only thing I got left with was anxiety. And I nearly never got here today because I didn't think I could drive for that hour. But I, I don't know whether you get that as well. Panic attacks. Yeah, well, we're all on a spectrum. I get that high anxiety too. But I, I, that, that's why I grab for something like mindfulness. Maybe it's swimming or finding religion. I don't know. I can't say for what happens to me, it happens to you.